Hey, what's up, sweaties? You're watching Comic Book Shopping. I'm John Schnepp. We're at the House of Secrets, and I'm here with Robert Meyer Burnett. What's up, Robert? Oh, man, this is so exciting. I got to make a film about all of my obsessions. Let's check out some Star Trek comics. Man, this is so cool. You know, we've never shopped comics together. As many times as we've been on television together, right. I've been in New York City with you. We've never gone comic book shopping together. Until today. Amazing. Let's this get sweaty, crazy. man. We're going to talk about your career. We're talking about comics. Let's go comic book shopping. Absolutely. Here we are in our local Burbank House of Secrets. I mean, before we get sweaty, let's talk a little bit about you. What was okay, your first? Then. What's, what's your first comic that you remember as a kid? I was obsessed because of the hour-long Super Friends cartoon. I was obsessed with the Justice League of America. Now, my mother, God love mom, she would get me Justice League every month, and I, I loved it. And I mean, this was back when comics were 20 cents. Right. And I was totally a DC guy. Like across the street, Sean Flaherty lived there, and he's always going like, dude, the Avengers are way, they're way better than Justice League, and Silver Surfer's the most powerful superhero, right. no one could beat him, and I'm like, dude, Superman could take any of those. Movies. See, I never had those issues. I just like Justice League and the Avengers. You know why? I'll tell you why, when I was a kid, I loved the insignias on the chests right. because I would draw them. Batman had his, yep. Flash, Superman. Superman. They had these very iconic emblems even when I was a kid. And I'm like, that was what I fixated on. Sure, Spider-Man had a spider. Fantastic Four had a four. But that the Avengers around. didn't really have, they didn't have logos. They had a big A for their friend. Their, hey, it. Avengers Assemble. They didn't wear them. Then my taste changed. Uh, I had a paper route, and my friend had Camelot 3000 number four. Oh yeah. And he was like sitting on the front stoop reading this thing, and I picked it up, and I'm like, what is this? And I actually sat down in the middle of my paper route and read the comic. And there's a store, I grew up in Seattle, there's a store called Golden Age Collectibles, and I would ride the bus, you know, to get downtown. Then I found Camelot 3004, and then I had to get one, two, and three. And then it became like, well, I'll just go down and get like one or two or three comics. Game over, dude, collector. Dude, it was Endless. And then it got to the point where I developed a horrible habit. Hey, I don't know if it was horrible, it was probably better or than- Or one of the best habits you could possibly well, have was... in your life. Let's take a nugget of your career. It's called Free Enterprise. How did you come about making this feature film? What was your inspiration? Well, you know, you know Free Enterprise is all about two people named Mark and Rob meeting William Shatter. And, and basically we wrote a Mary Sue story about something we wanted to have happen to us. Because I always wanted to meet William Shatner as an obsessed Star Trek fan as a little kid. So we just wrote this story about us and then all of our friends. And so I got to make a film about all of my, basically my obsessions. And unfortunately it came out right before the internet broke, right. you know, and geeks could, if it had come out now, I think it would have been much more successful. Well, it's out, it's available. Check out Free Enterprise if you haven't. It's written and directed by this man right here, Robert Meyer Burnett. Speaking about Star Trek, let's check out some Star Trek comics. Well, yes, we can. There are many. So we got a bunch of Star Treks right over here, Robert. Oh, well, which is always, oh, look at that. Now, this is interesting. So, the great John Byrne, he's doing photo novels now, but he's using all the different episodes and taking them apart and writing all new stories. Interesting is a word I don't like to use a lot, but I'll use it for this. It's interesting. Well, you know, it's cool that they're doing it. I yeah. mean, and Star Trek's had a really interesting comic book publishing history. It started out with Gold Key. Right. You know, then with Star Trek The Motion Picture in 79, Marvel Comics took it over. Got a bunch of those. Scott and David Tipton did this a con miniseries about Khan, Khan Noonien Singh. Who Sing. doesn't love Khan? And then, you know, for the J.J. Abrams movies, right. they did these prequels, like Countdown to Darkness, which is actually infinitely better than the movie that it came before. Oh, right on. Not all these, which ones would you like to check out? You want to try out a new Visions John Byrne photo play? I mean, this is actually a shot from the Doomsday Machine. Okay. But they've they've made it so you can't tell that the nacelles are bent because it's pushed in so far. Total Star Trek this sweaty is, right yeah, there. Yeah, I'm sweaty. This, this man, this he knows where the frame machine, is from. Right there. Yeah. This is a, a little, yeah. Well, hey, we're in a giant comic book store. I know you love Star Trek. Let's check out some of the other horizons of the world of comic books. Let's go. Absolutely. New Howard Chaykin. Yep. Not one of my favorite. I haven't read this yet. Have you Controversial. Read this? I have not read that yet. You want to... Oh. Pick it up. Oh, yeah. 
to check out that shake and you know check it out that flavor. It's, it's probably not going to disappoint you if no. you want that uh, controversial crazy Howard shaken. Here's one I got to recommend. It's uh, Jupiter's Legacy. Oh yeah. You can't go wrong with this series. I think it's it's so dynamic and incredible. That's amazing. Millar World just got picked up for Netflix, so I think we're going to be seeing a Jupiter's Legacy. I swear to God, I cannot wait for a TV series. When you get your hands on this, which you've got your hands on, check it out right up here. Bam, volume one. It takes superheroes into that next level that yeah. a lot of branded characters like for, on Marvel and DC really can't go to. It's, a, it's just incredible. I mean, you, you hear about the demise of, of comic books, but look at the diversity of stuff. A new James Bond comic? Pick that up. I know how much lo you love James Bond. Wow. Wow, this is a whole series. While it's you're incredible. at it, check out Hillbilly from uh, <laughs> Eric Powell. I like Eric Powell. Eric Powell's stuff is fantastic. Wow, look at the art. That is, oh, and it's even in 3D. Old school 3D. Bam. Wow, you gotta check look at that, that out for sure. Wow. wow. Speaking of Mark Millar, here's another comic with Greg Capullo. It's a science fiction epic called Reborn. So yeah. Netflix owns this. Oh yeah, Netflix has got the, the rights on all of these properties, and that's wow. another one that I've been reading for a while, and it's a lot of fun. Oh, I gotta get this. Look at this, Walking Dead is up to issue 170, and they're still walking on a road. Hey. Why don't they like go to like, I don't know, Wyoming? Sure. Like, you know, maybe there's less people there. The sitting dead. That's what I would like you to know. see. Just everybody hanging out sitting and no one eating Quiet. each other. Quiet. Here's a whole bunch of brand new DC comics that have been coming out. So we got Shade the Changing Man, only it's Shade the Changing Woman. I know, Shade and they the kept the logo. Girl. They kept the Vertigo logo from the late 80s, you know, early 90s. I love that book. And I gotta tell you, I'm, you know I'm a big Titans fan. I'm digging this. I'm digging the Rebirth Titans. Nice. It's, it's pretty good. <laughs> Look at this. Johnny Quest and Space Ghost. Future Quest is just a really big, fun jam. If you love all the Hanna-Barbera characters, that's the comic book that you should be collecting. Yeah, I gotta get the hardcover of this. Here's one that you might want to check out. Prelude to Metal. Yep. Is it about Iron Maiden? Well, I Batman wish. goes to an Iron Maiden show? <laughs> that would be just too awesome. Have you been checking out all the brand new Marvel Star Wars comics? You know, I collected Star Wars comics for so long, and then it's like Star Wars novels. Right. I mean, they just proliferated. It was like a horrible disease. Yes. There's a pandemic of Star <laughs> Wars comics. Well, I would I would say if you're going to pick up any of them to check out the Darth Vader run, those are always fun. I always have a kick out of those. Oh, How can you go bad if you go Sith? You can't. Once you go Sith, you never go back. You never go yeah. whatever. All right, check this out, man. Do you like The Rocketeer? Dude, I love The Rocketeer. All right, now this comic just came out. It's the high-flying adventures of The Rocketeer. Is this Rocketeer. new, new? It's not Brand it's new with artwork by everyone from Mike Mignola. You've got wow. John Byrne. Wow. You've got Darwin Cook. Everybody, I didn't know this came out. Every single artist who's worth their salt has done a tribute to Dave Stevens at The Rocketeer. Bam. Man, this is so cool. And we've talked about Paper Girls multiple times. Yes, it's like we have. Back to the Future with a really fun kind of time travel trip with these girls. So I absolutely love the first trade paperback. One of my is. dreams to travel through time with girls. Well, so dreams yeah. do come true. Let's check out. All right, this is amazing. Ooh, this is hey. a fat What's stack, up? dude. That's healthy. Yeah. This is, this is I, I'm gonna spend a lot of time in the bathroom, I think. <laughs> it's a, a lot of reading material. When you have a girlfriend, it's the best place to retreat to. You don't get bothered. Well, it'll be 138.48. All right, now that's a respectable Wednesday yeah. afternoon. That's, that's what, what I'm, I'm talking, talking about. about. Right. Thank you for this. Thanks, gentlemen. Thanks. Yeah. Have fun. Hey, thanks for watching Comic Book Shopping. We've been here at House of Secrets with Robert Meyer Burnett. Thanks for being on the show, Thanks Robert. so much. This is so much fun. What a great way to spend a Wednesday. Totally, man. I'll see you on Heroes, which is daily now on the Collider YouTube channel. Definitely check it out and subscribe. Let's get out of here.